What is going on, guys? We are back with another rebuild. And, I mean, is it really a rebuild? Kinda. The Cardinals aren't doing well, too well. And they actually do have a very expensive team. The thing that sucks is I love me some Larry Fitzgerald. Always have, always will. But I don't know if I can get rid of him when he's such a beast. Um, this is tough. So, what I do think we're going to do is convert Chandler Jones back to D-end. And perhaps run a 4-3. I don't know if that's a good move. Uh, I have lots of plans for this team, but that inc involves a lot of switching and also a lot of trades. So let's uh, let's get into it. Here we trade Tyrants Nightman, Ian Williams, and uh, some sort of Peters, probably Corey Peters, for Bobby Wagner. As uh, we did make a couple of moves. One of the moves didn't work out as well as I wanted to, but uh, Dayon Buchanan to strong safety, of course. Jefferson's a free safety. That was the plan, and the plan was to put Tyron in at corner. Didn't quite work, though, which really, really sucks. Do we trade Tony Jefferson, Eugene Monroe in a second round for Mike Evans? Haven't done that in a while because I really don't like to get players that are going to need contracts in the near future. Uh, but I do kind of believe this team is not, I wouldn't say ready to win right now, but pretty freaking close. And holy crap, Michael Floyd is making way too much money. Here we trade Michael Floyd, Larry Fitzgerald, and a third-round draft pick to get J.J. Watt from the Texans. So here we are forced to trade a first-round Will Hill and Marcus Cooper for Calvin Benjamin. We do land a new wide receiver that we never get, and he's a big target. Of course, you guys did see we ended up trading away Larry Fitzgerald and Michael Floyd. But, I mean, we replaced them with the Twin Towers themselves, and they're also very good at run blocking as well. So, I mean... I think we upgraded the wide receiver core, in my opinion. Of course, John Brown will start as well. Here we trade Mikey Apati in a fourth round for Zach Martin from the Cowboys, which I believe will allow us to move whoever the hell we got at right guard to left guard. So here we trade Daryl Washington and John Bartu to the Colts for their first and fourth round draft pick this year. So here we trade Gary Reynolds and Frosty Rucker for Richard Rodgers from the Packers as our tight end. We trade Luis Vasquez, John Osamo, and a fourth round for the Texans pick, which I technically believe is our own pick, sadly. So this is probably a bad trade, considering both players probably need a contract. But Evan Mathis in a second round for Morris Claiborne and Lael Collins. The thing that sucks is I believe, and if not, I would very well be confused if Morris Claiborne doesn't have slow development trade, as he is been a bust 100%. Here we trade a first-round draft pick and Justin Bethel for Eddie Goldman and Leonard Floyd. I'm once again worried about these contracts, but I'm kind of building this team to be a one-year team, maybe a two-year. We'll see. Well, it kind of sucks. I ended up trading Jeff Schwartz, Bernadou, and Watford when all they wanted was Watford. It's all right, though. We needed a cornerback, so Roby is going to be that spot for us. Here we trade Jermaine Gresham, Marcus Golden, and Chris Johnson for a first-round pick. This year from the Niners, they really wouldn't expect too much more, even though we had two greens. Here we trade Marcel Reese as a tight end. A fourth round this year and a third round next year for the Bears' first round draft pick this year. So here we trade Lan Danny Lansana for the Rams' next year first round draft pick, which I believe is going to pretty much settle our team. We just got to grab a fullback, and that's just about it as we are getting ready to go to the regular season. Hopefully we do a little bit better than the uh, Cardinals are doing in real life as... They have decent, uh, decent talent. They're just, you know, oh, Gronkowski, the brother. We're definitely gonna give him a shot here, and um, yeah, the the Cardinals should be doing better. They're just not simply. Of course, this is the team. We have ourselves a nice wide receiver core, um, a pretty solid O line. Obviously, things could be upgraded, but overall, decent enough. Got a good tight end. Well, an average tight end at least. Uh, should be able to make some plays. Troy Nicholas will be number two, uh, obviously. <laughs> Um, this is going to be swapped. Leonard Floyd is going to be a uh, left out while Chandler Jones is going to be a right out, which is going to be a little better, I think, for us. Bobby Wagner, of course. And uh, the corners aren't terrible. We uh, do have Bradley Roby as a third and Morris Claiborne as a second. Eddie Goldman's an upgrade at DT. JJ Watson, obvious upgrade at left end. And then the safeties are solid, even if you aren't rebuilding. Special teams is average. So we got to make those small moves, and then we're going to be on to the regular season. So the contracts this year aren't terrible, but they aren't great either. I really don't like this. Oh, we've got a little bit more money than I thought we did. These are also the sliders we're going to be playing on. I'm going to try to keep tweaking it as I see fit. Um, we definitely seen last rebuild that fullbacks were way too high, so we're going to drop it from 200 down to 160. I think that should be a decent number. 
Uh, quarterback is 140. Running back is uh, 138. You guys can see the numbers pretty much. Um, kicker and punter, I think, will always stay 200% because there's never decent ones in the draft at all. So, I mean, there, I mean, there's decent ones, but they're really crap at the same time. That's the XP. Let me know what you guys think. You have a better one that makes more sense. We are in the tough NFC West, by the way. So hopefully we can make the playoffs. I don't have I don't have sim win on or any of that. See, that is the thing though. I see that a lot of times that the Cardinals don't even make the playoffs. This is not one of those times. Nine, six, and one. So we do win the division with that. By the way, the Seahawks don't even make the playoffs. The Niners are two and fourteen. Did we get any awards? I doubt it. Nine, six, and one isn't great. Uh, although speaking of great, Carson Palmer played outstandingly. Just absolutely perfection from him. And uh, not a ton of touchdowns for David Johnson as Ellington stole him. But he had a really good year. Two fumbles is awesome, in my opinion. Um, wide receivers, almost a 1,000 for three guys. Kevin Benjamin just barely missed. This is what I like to see. Not quite as many touchdowns as I wanted, but it's all right. Uh, offensive line, Jared Veldier kind of got destroyed, but the rest of the team did well. That's all that really matters. And Calais Campbell in a 3-4. If I'm not mistaken, we're running a 3-4. Okay, guys, we... I always mess it up, but I think we've been running a 3-4 this year. It would make sense because our most skilled players are inside, so it wouldn't surprise me if these guys get uh, the most of the sacks. Um, but speaking of corn, holy shit. I don't know if he's got slow, which he probably does. Slow development rate. That might change, pal. You got DB of the year, most likely. Maybe even defensive player of the year. I doubt it. And Canzaro locked in. Kicker of the year. If it's not kicker of the year, it's hopeless. 100%. If you cannot win kicker of the year, Canzaro, it's hopeless. We're going to have a lot of awards, I think. 10th uh, offensive. Defensive is third. So we actually have a chance to go Super Bowl first year. Um, MVP. Carson was not that far off. Uh, AFC, NFC, Offensive Player of the Year is Matt Ryan. Defensive Player of the Year, how close were we? So, not even close, apparently. Eric Kendricks wins it. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Ezekiel Elliott. Do we have any rookies? DeForest Buckner. Uh, Leonard Floyd, but he did not play well. Corson Palmer almost got best quarterback of the year. Nowhere there. Cardinals got uh, two guys on the top list. Best all lineman, Zach Martin. Sorry, Cowboys, you always have it. And we stole the man ourselves. D lineman of the year, Calais Campbell. I kind of surprised. I'm not surprised by that actually. Um, Wagner nowhere to be found. What? Let's see the stat line. I'm gonna take a look at his stat line. Catanzaro, best kicker. Thank you. This game. I mean, I would have felt so screwed if we didn't get it. I'm gonna be so mad because Fuller's probably not even gonna deserve it. Okay, he deserved it. He had a fucking outstanding year. Well, we didn't play bad. We didn't play well, but we also didn't do that bad in preseason. Uh, loss, loss, win, loss, win, win, tie, loss, win, loss, win, loss. And then we had a four-game win streak. That is when you want to get hot. This is going to be huge. Okay, so that is... I mean, I know we already have some talented players, but holy shit. Slow development rate really hurts you. I guess to be fair, Morris Claiborne didn't get an award, did he? So I really didn't get too many upgrades in because our XP was just pretty horrendous. A lot of guys are on the verge of uh, good old development traits. And uh, we start out with a 86 overall team. It might not take us more than one year to rebuild because this team really didn't need a huge amount of moves. And they get the ball back, so the defense is holding on a little bit. The uh, the Vikings, uh, however, do look like they're going to be down the field. And third and one, it's a penalty on the defense from a guy who doesn't even fucking play. And extra point by them. So 10-point deficit. A huge play to start it off to Kelvin Benjamin. Another huge play this time to John Brown. Another huge play this time to David Johnson. Everybody's getting the ball today. Second and six. It's a penalty on the defense. That should be a touchdown, and it is. So with about five minutes left, down by three. Can we do it? We actually stop them. Remember, folks, if I get under the two minutes, I get to come in. And that's a huge clutch play on third and ten to Kelvin Benjamin. And on second and 10, another huge play, this time to John Brown. And that's third and seven. Ten-yard possession or catch. Mike Evans, 20-yard play. The first time I've seen him get in that end zone. Oh, at the one-yard line, I get to call the play. I think they would take this. We're going to take it. Oh, get that block. Yes, we got it. Holy shit. Who was that? That had to be Zach Martin. 
It had to be. So we're going to let it sim again because uh, we did kind of jump in there and save the day. It would have been a tied game either way. Oh! What the... What? Overwatch gets a touchback and we struggle. So nope, we didn't get screwed. Our team just sucks. End of the game, we lost. Fucking A, we lost by three. The Vikings screwed us over. Carson Palmer played pretty well, I think. He did. The problem is he's probably going to retire, and it sucks. David Johnson outperformed Peterson, in my opinion. Um, overall, I think we deserve this win. Somehow the Vikings' terrible fucking offense won, and the Steelers do win it. Seven points. They always have a really solid team. They don't always win it, though. Carson went zero touchdowns. Ben Roethlisberger destroyed him. Uh, Le'Veon did better, but no touchdowns on the ground. And pretty much what you would expect from a matchup against the Steelers. Lots and lots of offense. And kicking, there was only one kicker, and it was the punter. I don't know. That probably glitched out. Thanks for the offer. I'm just not interested in signing. How much is the tag? 11.5. I think that would have been a little bit less or a little bit more than we would have paid him, but I'll just re-sign him. Oh, a fair offer. So uh, Chandler Jones, that's definitely a fair offer. He doesn't accept. He can suck a dick. Fuck off, you bitch. I'm obviously franchise tagging Calais. He's getting old, but he's a beast. I really shouldn't have franchise tagged him, but he's my favorite player in the game. And I was going to let Catanzaro go, but I don't think you can ever let a guy go that performs that well. This offer is perfect. Can't wait for next year. Claiborne has to go. He's just slow development trade. He had an insane season, but he also has no potential. There's just no potential. Chandler freaking Jones. Like, how much are they overpaying him? Look at how much they're overpaying him. Fuck it, you can have that, bitch. I don't give a shit. He had that one tight end that was a freak, but he only had, like, I think he had slow development, right? Because he was just too good. Reloading for another run. Of course, our team is solid. Uh, let's take a look at the draft. I think we have some good picks. I'm expecting some solid picks. Number one overall. I knew that was going to be our pick. I didn't know we were going to be down to six. I thought we were going to be higher. One, six, and ten. Hopefully that's all we got. Looks pretty good. We did not grab the second round pick for the fucking Niners. God damn it. Okay, so we have that one guy up there. Najee Lincoln. We want him as well. We could easily get him like eight. Uh, the biggest guy is our quarterback late. So that's all that matters in my opinion as well. I don't know why I keep saying that. But I do. There's a lot of linemen. I think I want Kent School. A lot of teams have players they want and need. Can we move down at all? The Browns are going to trade with us, so obviously we're going to take that. Great trade there. Hopefully they take a corner and not a corner. They take the center. Oh, my God. I knew they were going to take him because they have a huge need for cornerback. We can still take the other guy, though. I think there's a um, – is he 6'3"? He's 5'10". He's not bad. Um, Najee Lincoln, he's a mid-first rounder. He's the best talent there. Six pick, we're going to take him. Normal fucking development trade. All right, 78 overall, 82 strength. He might end up being trade bait for a true linebacker. He's a mid, so we might have to just take him here again. Slow development trade. Oh, my God, this draft is going worse than you could ever imagine, and it sucks because he's a really good player, but he has slow freaking development trade. But they could take our guy, and this guy's good. Logan Cundiff is a stud. Hopefully, because I've had a very disappointing draft, and I would not be happy if he wasn't to that. I really was surprised they didn't take it. So, Logan Cundiff, please be quick development trade at least. Normal development trade. He's an 80 overall. He's a very solid quarterback. Like, if this was a... I mean, he's 23, but it's all right. If this was a real league, he would be one of the best quarterbacks ever. 87 speed is ridiculous in this draft. Late first rounder. Jonathan Cummings. We don't need him. I'm just going to draft him, though. Normal. He's a solid player. He's supposed to go number one overall. I, I mean, I don't see it. He's not bad. I mean, we've landed some good draft picks, but once again, where the fuck are the development traits? Like, holy shit. So we know we have a new quarterback. We do have a new tight end as well. Uh, lots of players to trade for money issues. I don't know why the game autofills. There's got to be a setting to turn that off. I hope there is. He betrayed Nate Lincoln, the new rookie we got. A first-round draft pick pretty late in the first round this year. 
and Carson Palmer for Jamie Collins from the Browns. We have rescued the man. So we do trade a third round and fourth round this year. Both very solid picks for J.C. Treader from the Packers, uh, which allows us to uh, be looking pretty damn good. We just need uh, potentially a cornerback. I don't know if we're going to actually take one. Um, I wish our guy was quicker superstar, but potentially a cornerback. And then we're off to the regular season again already. Accidentally put two second rounds in on accident instead of the fourth. But DeMarcus Ware, two second rounds for a Browns first round draft pick this year. He retrade a backup middle linebacker, a first and fourth round this year for the Niners first round draft pick this year. So we do move up some spots that way. He retrade a second round, fourth round next year, and Gunter for Philly Brown as a backup middle linebacker. So this is our team coming into this next season. It's looking pretty solid. It's definitely a better team. Um, the question is, can the quarterback play as well as uh, Carson Palmer did? Probably not. But uh, overall, the team is better when you consider the fact that the pieces we have are also better. Um, the cornerbacks, eh, a little bit worse, I guess. But I think we're better as a team. I don't care. Where is the speed? I don't even see it. Uh, 87 speed, 89 excel, 89 agility. That's the best quarterback ever. That is the best rookie quarterback ever. I know he's normal development rate. But I've never seen someone that quick with decent throwing stats. Like, that is ridiculous. So, this is not going to be a great year for us. I'll tell you that. Um, what the hell? Zach Martin is trying to make as much money as Mike Evans. What the fuck? He deserves it. But So, to most teams, Richard Rodgers is actually an 82 overall. Um, so, there's been a lot of offers here that are actually not bad. Uh, I think we're going to take the Texans next year, 2nd, 5th, and 7th. We are in the playoffs. I'm actually really excited. We're against the fucking Vikings again. God damn it. So the freaking Seahawks actually make the uh, list of the number one in the division. And oh my god, the rookie. He's done it. He's Carsoned it. He has palmered the job. Oh my god, he's going to win a rookie of the year award. David Johnson has also done the job of too many goddamn fumbles. Forgot to sign a legit running back. That sucks. Um, three 1,000-yard receivers. Very disappointed in Cummins. I'm kind of disappointed. I really am. Felder, uh, he's doing better even though he's regressing, which is kind of funny. Um, we had a much better pass rush unit, but overall the statistics were terrible. Um, Bobby Wagner had a very solid year. Everyone did pretty well, I would say. We can't be in the right scheme, and I'm so stupid with this scheme shit. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Sixth offensive yards, defensive yards is second. Oh, my God. If we don't win the Super Bowl this year, I swear to God, I quit rebuilds. It's not true. I won't quit them. They're actually too much fun. Steelers are about to have just about every goddamn award. I don't care about the NFC, the AFC, actually. I was going to look, and I was like, nah. So we almost got Offensive Player of the Year with the rookie quarterback, which means he automatically has Offensive Rookie of the Year. Not a question, of course. Very obvious. Um, defensive Rookie of the Year. Good. No, you weren't good enough. <laughs> Fucking Matthew Stafford ruined us. I still think our guy should have had it. Best wide receiver, no one. Best O lineman, Zach Martin again. Best D lineman, no one. Best linebacker. Oh, I really thought... Uh, Where's Bobby Wagner? I thought Bobby was going to be in there. I guess not. Best kicker. I didn't even look at the kicker. But apparently Catanzaro was great again. God damn, that man is a freaking sexy man. We got a couple upgrades, and I think I remember what it was. I wanted to show you guys the uh, schedule. I'm going to try to speed that up a little bit. I really don't care. Uh, what was our shit? I said I was going to speed it up. That was actually really good. Might actually have ourselves a special team. Uh, we're looking pretty good. I think this team can do it. This, I mean, the Cardinals are a really solid team. What is that overall, though? 87 so we move up to sp or a spot while well, the Vikings actually move up two spots so I mean we should win but EA loves to be EA oh my god I am so sick of this game the number two or three ranked defense is gonna do this bad watch I bet you if I slow down like this if I watch it this way oh oh my god I didn't think that was gonna have a 52 yard rush for the quarterback I'm just gonna slow sim it I'm not cheating. It's just that I feel like you have a better chance doing it this way. That is a huge step. Really fucking cheaters. Out of nowhere. We've got a shot at this thing. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, what is life? We've got new life. Speaking of it, do we get the two point? Oh, oh my God. 
Penalty on the offense. That's huge. Fuck. They're going to win it. <gasps> Penalty on the offense. That's against them. Third and nine. Eight yards. What? They got the field goal. I can come in, though. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to come in. I don't care. Is Mike Evans really number 88? God damn. That's gross. Cummins, run. Run. We can't waste the timeout. Uh, uh. Troy Nicholas, make the catch. Go down. Fuck, this is stupid. It's quite obvious what I'm doing here, game. Jeez, that all mattered. It's crazy. Kanzaro's a damn good kicker. I hit it 100%. Come on, we gotta make a play. This feels really good. All Madden feels great. And that's game. Fuck off! Someone catch him. Peterson's old. Come on, we've got a chance. Strip him! Haha, <laughs> we lost to the Vikings again! Peterson ran for over 200! We gave up almost 500 fucking yards. Okay, he threw two picks, but still they fucked us! Why is Sam Bradford still on our team? Well, this time Peterson obviously outperformed David Johnson, considering fucking Jarek McKinnon outperformed him. Performed him. Logan Cundiff, of course, outperforming everyone. Um, just absolutely horrendous. What was the blocking like? I don't know. The defense is just so shit. Did I really re-sign Calais? Because if I didn't, I'm fucking letting him go. I think I tried to. I think I pulled the Green Bay Packers, Greg Jennings, but he said he wanted more money. So we're going to let him go to the Vikings and completely ruin their team. Not that the Vikings were great when they were signing him, but you get what I'm saying. You guys seen the rank? Sixth offensive, second or third defensive? That's good enough to win the Super Bowl. Look at us. This is some dick ass. This is some fucking bullshit. I want a recount. I think we won the election. Actually, the Seahawks and Raiders. Fuck you, Minnesota. You bitches. Raiders could make it, though. This, I mean, this is doable. This is actually doable. I like the fact that we've been getting some doable Super Bowls. Take it. The other one was a little more like, okay, I have to I have to see a little bit more for it to happen, but you know what I'm saying. Calais actually wants more money. He can go suck a fucking cow dick. Um, obviously, we're going to get Mike Evans back. He better resign for that. That is a huge amount of money. See you later, Calais. They're about the same price, and Calvin's better. Exactly what I was hoping for. Sorry, John Brown. We are broke. Sorry, Preston Brown. We are broke. Sorry, Bradley Roby. We are also broke. Um, this fullback has superstar development traits, so obviously we're going to get him back. We let a wide receiver go, so let's lowball him for Devontae. God, we're broke. Why are we so expensive? Uh, Isaac Bernard. Oh, you look decent. You actually look really decent. So no matter what we're looking at, we're going to keep him. We need him in a linebacker. That is an easy position to fill, most likely. If it isn't... I'm going to be disappointed because it's just like, that's the position we always stack up. Here we go. Rasheen Cornelius. That's our guy. He's got to find a decent home. He's going to find us. He's a really good guy, actually. I don't know if he's a good guy. He's a good player, though. So that translates to being a good person always, doesn't it? Right, Michael Vick? And I can't spend a lot of money. He accepted. Oh, yeah. First and third. That makes me feel all right. And the tenth. So I don't think we've had... Oh, somebody moved. Gage Hill, superstar development trait. Here we come. Hello there, Mr. Gage. Very great selection. I can't risk it. We're going to go with Bernard right now. We look to have a decent draft. This guy isn't going to have superstar. He's way too good for that. Normal development trait. Expected. Um, fills in right where Calais Campbell leaves off. Like he's a freaking replica. Uh, let's go with the middle linebacker. And we're good to go. So, Rayshon Cornelius. Normal development trade. He was supposed to go number 282 overall. Very good player. Um, as a backup, he, you cannot really ask for too much other than that. So, we're going to move on most likely to next season. I don't think we have anything we need to fill after that. So, we did get done with the draft. We got a lot of draft picks for next year. And we also have a really good team, I think. Suggs is going to enter retirement. Uh, we do need to trade Jason Vell there, actually. Uh, what else do we have? We got a good wideout. We're fine there. What else are we missing? Good safeties, good linebackers. Defensive tackle. Oh, we fucking have Calais still? 
There's no way I tagged him. EA, you fuckers. I guarantee it was them again. I know I didn't tag him. I know it. I let him go. There's a reason. Because we're broke. I might overtrade here. I did overtrade probably. Calais Campbell first round and second round for Ronnie Stanley. So we retrade Jason Valdir. Jared, Dave, I've been calling him Jason this whole time, haven't I? Jared Valdir and two third rounds for a first and second round draft pick. I kept calling him Jason Valdir. I don't know why. That fucking sucks. I'm going to have to edit all that shit out. Or maybe not. I don't care. So this is the roster. It might very well be the last roster since we're going to... Well, maybe not because we have a rookie quarterback. There's really not too many guys we have to resign, I would assume. Um, I can't really even think of anyone right now other than David Johnson. Uh, what about the defense? We might, though. There could be like uh, Tyron Matthew or something. Maybe a J.J. Watt. I doubt J.J. Nah, not J.J. Watt. Definitely Tyron, though. Um, but yeah, I, we're looking pretty good. I don't think we have any worries for money either. I thought we would, but I don't think we do. Um, our team's looking pretty solid, honestly. Our special teams is not bad. Oh, we need a punter. I'm at a punter to the roster, and then we'll get on the road again. Uh, oh, sprinter for Auburn, but recently made the switch to running back for their football team. I'm looking for a whole lot of money. Oh, we could easily afford them. We've actually built, at least as of right now, I don't want to jinx anything, but we actually built a pretty good team, I think. We uh, we still got money. We're here. Please be in the playoffs. We got a bye week. Oh, did Cundiff have a MVP season? 11-5. and five. Oh, did he have an MVP season? Yeah, he did. 100%. Not a question. This boy is something else. And David Johnson fumbles a lot again. And uh, I'm a little disappointed with some of the receivers. Mike Evans performing very well for me. Uh, Ronnie Stanley doing all right. Um, tackles actually didn't do too bad. JJ Swizzle running a uh, 24. Point five sack performance. Uh, Jamie Collins has been a fucking nightmare. Um, Buchanan with five picks. Patrick Peterson with three. The rookie with three. Might get defensive rookie of the year. I don't know. Hopefully, Kenton Zaro has been deadly as well. His team should not have lost so many freaking goddamn playoff games. We're so good. Cundiff probably just got MVP as well. First in offensive yards. What's the defensive? Got to be top three. Top three. Let's see. Okay, 14th. We're actually really shit. <laughs> our butter was our touchdowns. Points scored in the second. Did they show points gained? Gavin? Ooh. Okay. So that's not good. MVP. I don't know if I've ever had that where I, I drafted a player and they won MVP. I don't think I've ever had that. Oh, Logan Cundiff. You, you are a dirty, filthy man. Oh, you are so dirty. You make me happy. Zach Martin, you are also a dirty man. J.J. Watt, you got done dirty. You know, they did you dirty, so that's one thing. And Kenzaro got dirty done a lot, this this rebuild. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. Okay, it didn't, I didn't get as much XP as I thought I was going to have. 84 to a 91, he's a beast. So we've spent our XP... Let's go on to the next week. If the fucking Vikings are there, swear to God. Okay, did the Vikings even make the playoffs this year? Oh, God. I'm so done with the Vikings, and they're done. They didn't even make the playoffs this year. Finally, we don't have to deal with them. That's the only way we can avoid those assholes. It's funny. Is the Seahawks... Uh, let's take a look at our shit so you know I didn't cheat. The Seahawks are really up and down. I don't even think they made the playoffs either. Um, we've been just completely up. There's no such thing as up and down. We've just been up. We've been killing it. This is, without a doubt, the best rebuild I've ever had. But the performance isn't happening because EA wants to fuck with me. 11-5. and five. So we went 9-6-1, and 10-5-1, and one, and 11-5. and five. We just keep getting better. We're an 89 overall. Our defense has got to be getting up to like a 97. Our offense has got to be up to like a 92 or 93. Let's uh, quickly sim through. We look like we're about to just destroy them. Offensive line and David Johnson cannot be stopped. Oh, speaking of, nope. Can't be stopped. Won't be stopped. That is game. 100%. Okay, we do fuck up there a little bit, but you cannot allow that much of a long drive. Uh, ironically, we give up a huge one, but it's just like they have no time. It's it's over. We score a touchdown. It's game over. Skip through. 37-21. to 21. We finally win a damn playoff game. There, guy. Matt Ryan, solid. No one beats Cundiff this year, though. 
Uh, David Johnson having a very solid game. No fumbles. Julio Jones did very good. Uh, our team kind of spreading around the wealth pretty nicely. JJ Nelson got some plays. Sacks. No sacks from anyone, it appears. Guess not. So really a, a just a solid game by the offense from both teams. Ours just was a little bit better. And, of course, our kicker is not going to be bad. He's always going to be good. Don't even think about saying he's not going to be. 88 overall. Holy shit. This rebuild has been pretty epic. Like, normally most of the teams we find have just been lucky in sim. But the, the Eagles are good. They're an 88 overall. They're actually really solid. Wow. Up by one. Oh, my God. Here comes the Eagles. There's a penalty on the defense. Kind of walking down the field on us. Oh, that was a clutch third and ten for them. <gasps> we stop them. That's a field goal. Seven minutes left. We can score a touchdown and be up by a lot. Huge play on third and nine to Onunwa. Another play to Onunwa. Oh, five yards. No, it's a back-to-back -back field goal battle. I can come in the game. Did they miss the extra point? Oh, <gasps> they missed the extra point. This is for the game. No timeouts. I think in real life they would let Patrick Peterson take this back, so I'm going to take it back. Oh, not quite, but still a great return. We're going to risk it. We're going to risk it for a run. Terrible decision. Fuck, hurry up to the line. Damn it. Ooh, this play is a favorite of mine. Not like this specific play, but this style formation. Please give us enough time, O-line. I've seen you guys do some pretty amazing things. Make that throw. <gasps> what an epic throw. Make that pull. Oh, no. No, that's bad. That's bad. Run the same play. I can't believe the season. No, the season's going to come on down the line to Mike Evans. Come on. Hike it. Hike it. We want a second shot. That's a terrible decision. It's fucking picked off and we lose the game. It wasn't a bad decision. I just shouldn't have fucking threw it off my damn back foot. So annoying. I'm going to go to the next season. I'm just going to skip all the way to the next season. I don't even fucking care. Let's see the free agency recap as I believe David Johnson was left over league signings. Amari Cooper was signed. Uh, did we keep David Johnson? He needed a contract and I didn't sign him. But apparently the game did. Uh, fucking wonderful. The Jets had some pretty good players. Look at that. They got two safeties. Two safeties in the free agency. The two best safeties. Fucking legends. So we are in the draft, and ironically, no one took the running back. And I know that's not our need at all, but I have to take him. He's he's my boy. I want him. Superstar of Elmetrade. He's supposed to go number three. Ezekiel Elliott 2.0 over here. Not really, but kind of. Um, that would have been the move. Just so you guys know, that would have been the move. Hey, the EA has ruined this bullshit as... I don't know why they, they signed him. I didn't want him. I know it was supposed to go all AI stuff, but I have it set where you can't just do it for me just because I'm being dumb. He's a decent guy. And superstar of Elman Trade. So last draft of the fucking thing, most likely. And we land some talent. I want to start that guy, but I can't do it. Um, Phillips, they do have him at DT. So they didn't sign. What's his name? Nice. Going to the playoffs. I don't care. Hopefully we do good. If we don't, fuck it. I'm not even going to sim in the game. I'm just going to, unless we get to the Super Bowl. I'm going to let EA do it because apparently when we're in the game, we lose anyways, even though we deserve to win. The Eagles are decent, but they don't even come close to our skill at all. If we don't make the playoffs, I'm going to just, okay, we're going to, I don't know why I expected us not to. Um, Seahawks are back into uh, playoff tier again as they on and again, off again. Just want to show you guys we didn't cheat. I don't care. Other than that, uh, let's take a look at stats really quickly. Um, and Cundiff had a very down year. Still absolutely killed it. Uh, Matthews did very good. What is his average? 3.1 a carry. Not too great. Uh, Evans. Normally Evans is pretty bad for me, but he's actually been very good for me in this rebuild. Uh, good decision to trade for him, I guess. Um, I think we've been in a 3-4-4-3 hybrid, as that's what the Cardinals are. So I can't really complain about the scheme and all. I think next time we are going to go full-on 3-4 or 4-3, uh, unless we, you know, rebuild the Patriots or something, which we're not going to. But if we were, 
don't care about the yards or any of that. We're not going to get any of the wards. There's really no point in even showing you guys. But I'll show you. Maybe old lineman of the year again because what's his name? Oh, we actually got offensive rookie of the year with a backup running back. That's interesting. Definitely what I expected. Zach Martin, four straight years in a row. And Eli Apple gets best DB. That is a freak of nature right there. XP auto upgrade. I don't care. We're going to sim. Probably lose game one. And I'm going to say some extremely quick and or um, like just real depressed outro. The rebuild that never was. Yep. Fuck you. Yeah. Okay. Look at this. So they completely locked us down. All right. Two touchdowns to zero interceptions. Apparently they locked us down. Look, David Johnson, everyone did so good on the team, yet they locked us down. Somehow we just couldn't score. Bullshit. Bobby Wagner had 17 tackles. That's clearly what you do when you're not the better team. Get out of here, EA. Get the fuck out. EA is fucking bullshit. Bull goddamn shit. I wanted to open a pack, but we're not even an ultimate team. Look at this. 97 overall. Look at this team. Where did we go wrong? Maybe the cornerback? Right end is the first year we had this guy, or second year maybe. I don't fucking know. Like, where did we go wrong? Our defense and offensive are always ranked decently. We grabbed a bunch of new players even. Why? He's the best quarterback ever. I don't care what anyone wants to say. Unless you find a guy even halfway decent like this, and he's like 20 or 21, I don't see you beating him. Like, look how fast he is. The legend of Logan Cundiff. Enough ranting. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Normally the rebuilds aren't so shitty like this. We either win the Super Bowl. We come close to winning the Super Bowl at least. But this, I don't get. I really don't get it. And the O-line's played very well. I mean, we have a decent O-line. All 84, 85s except for the right tackle. But this guy... Wait, no, maybe not. I know the interior. I think these three guys haven't given up a sack in over three years. Two years? I think these guys haven't given up a sack in over two seasons. Maybe in the play postseason, but not in the regular season. It's always just been the left tackle and right tackle, if I'm not mistaken. Zach Martin's been the best O-lineman for the fourth straight year. I don't know what to tell you. But hopefully, uh, maybe if you're new, you subscribe and you like the videos. Because, I, I mean, shit happens and this is one of them. The, the Cardinals are already a playoff team pretty much. Doesn't take me much to get them in the right shoes and we just couldn't fucking tie the laces simply put that was a great analogy that was amazing that is so amazing that's the best part of this rebuild look, look how many a's we have a's and a pluses we got five on defense i mean if you want to count a minuses we got like four on offense so we have almost what nine a a ishes nine a ishes and a whole bunch of B and B pluses. It's just ridiculous. I don't know. Just watching at this point is absolutely insane to me. It's more than anything. Like, if you subscribe, I appreciate that a ton. But if you're just watching, that's awesome too. Hopefully you guys come back for next video. But until next video, before I say my outro fully, what team do you want to see rebuilt? That's a, that's a good question. So, uh, yeah, you know. See ya! Turtle, 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 turtle. So what is going on, guys? We are back with another video today, and we're doing something a little bit different. We are uh, doing the New England Patriots rebuild.